Encanto is the first soundtrack to hit number one in over two years, and it's taking the charts by storm, like many of our favorite soundtracks of the past. With the surprise success of We Don't Talk About Bruno, Don't Talk About Bruno, which has now become the highest charting song from a Disney animated film in over 25 years, let's take a look back at the history of hit soundtracks and what factors catapult a soundtrack to success. This is Billboard Explains when a soundtrack smashes the charts. Soundtracks featuring music that accompanies film, musicals, TV shows, and more have been around about as long as the Billboard charts themselves. And West Side Story was one of the first true blockbuster soundtracks. Life can be bright in America. If you can fight in America. After its release in 1962, the soundtrack spent a record 54 weeks at number one on the Billboard 200. West Side Story was a soundtrack in the traditional sense, a compilation of various artists and songs pulled directly from a film. Hello darkness, my old friend. In the late 60s and into the 70s, films like The Graduate and Saturday Night Fever introduced a different concept of what a soundtrack could be, a collection of songs driven by a specific artist. What the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack also accomplished was capturing the experience of the movie, The Pulse of the Disco Era, like a snapshot of that moment in pop history. In the 80s, Princess Purple Rain, one of the greatest rock and roll albums of all time, was a prime example of when a soundtrack's success and legacy surpasses that of its accompanying film. Then came the 90s. was really sort of the golden age for the soundtrack. The 90s were the era when you just, you really had to have the soundtrack. You know, when, when there was a big movie coming out, it was who's gonna be on the soundtrack. One soundtrack in particular, The Bodyguard, established not only the power of an artist-focused soundtrack, but what happens when you have a monster single. The early 2000s saw hit soundtracks dialing up the star power, but fast forward to today, how are soundtracks finding success now? One approach remains the artist-driven album, but with a twist, the curated soundtrack. Like Black Panther, which had Kendrick Lamar as the creative force behind it, contributing, producing, and curating the music to evoke the thematic elements of the film. Many modern soundtracks still follow the classic big single strategy, like A Star Is Born, which led with Lady Gaga's and Bradley Cooper's chart-topping smash, Shallow. And then there are soundtracks that encourage listeners to fully relive the experience of the movie, like The Greatest Showman, this is the greatest show. which proved traditional soundtracks can still come out on top, especially ones that audiences enjoy experiencing on repeat. Enter Disney's Encanto. For Encanto, Lin-Manuel Miranda was able to create storytelling through music that really shines in the movie. The songs are just full of life and they've found an audience that just wants to play the songs over and over. Like, we don't talk about Bruno, which isn't your typical Disney hit song, and yet it really soared on streaming. Single creative force behind the music, a big hit single, recreating the magical movie experience. Encanto checks all the boxes for a soundtrack smash. But no matter what's behind the music, as long as there are movies that capture our hearts, there will always be soundtracks that capture the charts.